Hello and welcome back. So now we are jumping to the top 50 question on Microsoft Fabric. So please pay close attention and uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you need to have a pen and a notepad or the any place where you can make a note of what we are discussing. That's very important. I'm going to share the cheat code at the end of the uh, chapters, but uh, you also can keep a note and wherever you think if there is any bullet points you need to make a note please make a note because that will serve as a handy guide uh, before you end this session so uh, before the actual interview or anytime you want to revise those important topics you can do that so the first question I can think of any interviewer will ask is what is Microsoft Fabric now this question seems to be very easy, but trust me it is not. This is the make or the break kind of question. Now when this question is asked, interviewer is not really want to uh, know from you what is the definition of Microsoft Fabric, right? They want to know what you actually work. To answer this question, whatever I am showing it on my slide, that Microsoft Fabric is an end-to-end -end data analytics platform that integrate data engineering, data science, real-time analytics and business intelligence into a single SaaS solution. Now if you tell this definition, it is correct. But what interview want to know is what is your experience with Fabric. So to answer this question, you can mention the important topics of Fabric. For example, Power BI, Azure Synapse, Data Factory, Data Science, One Lake, Real-Time Analytics, Business Intelligence, AI, Data Science. These kind of terms you can mention. It all uh, combined together called as fabric. But what you need to describe with this is how fabric is playing an important role in your project, in your organization or whatever work you are doing. Why your customer actually switch to Fabric? That's where the definition of Microsoft Fabric stays. Now you had a legacy database earlier which is something like Microsoft SQL Server. Now those are dedicated on-premises database. Then why there is a need for Microsoft Fabric? One of the example, and you can make a note is, it's easier to manage Fabric. Because the Power BI, Azure Synapse, your One Lake, your Azure Storage, everything can be controlled from one subscription. So it is easier to use. If you are using Azure Synapse also, for example, not the Fabric, you still need some time before the data is ingested, converted to a particular schema, then Power BI will consume it, and then the dashboard will be refreshed. So there is a time gap. Now with Fabric, the idea is you can get real-time analytics. That What does that mean? If there is any retail store which has seven different stores at seven different locations, they all can send data and you can create a dashboard real-time. So you need to explain the fabric in terms of how it affect your project, why client selected Microsoft Fabric, what are the different ways, like for example, on what platform it is. For example, your Microsoft Fabric is SaaS, Software as a Service, whereas Azure Synapse is PaaS, which is Platform as a Service. Now, this is very important point. Microsoft Fabric gives you the complete package in a software kind of environment, where you don't have to uh, worry about your underlying platform. Whereas Azure Synapse, if you have used you still need to manage the environment. You need to, uh, you know, make some setting adjustment. You may need resources for Azure Synapse to administrate uh, the uses or, you know, give the access and the other part. Whereas Microsoft Fabric combines everything that include your Power BI, Azure Synapse, Azure Data Factory, everything under a software it gives a ui through which you can you know 
uh, ingest the data it gives you connector through which you can connect to different sources so this is a very important part for explaining microsoft fabric so gather pointers like that before you explain microsoft fabric and do not rely on the bookish book definition what is mentioned on these slides refrain from that you can just mention the important components of fabric but still go to your project understand why at the first place your uh, client opted for microsoft fabric what are the benefits you are getting out of fabric and how it is different from your uh, older database or from where you migrated to fabric and why people are so interested in fabric so when you talk about those point uh, that's where the interview will go in a correct direction and you'll get attention of the interviewer so gather all those point spend some time it can be different for different people uh, now for one person maybe they are using for example microsoft sql server now they are going to fabric for another instance it could be they are using azure synapse and now they are migrating to fabric so there could be different reason uh, one of the another example you can also mention is earlier you could have a different database team and then a power bi development team both are working in a different uh, vendor or maybe different teams but now because fabric is one component both team can work under a same umbrella so uh, this as your as your fabric is going to save the resource it has also ai for example uh, fabric copilot is there then you have data science ai model you can create so the ai part is also inbuilt in fabric you don't have to bring it from outside for example if you want to find the uh, the anomaly with a certain data set that also you can find using the ai model you can deploy your ai model you can train it and then can find for example credit card fraud one of the example so you need to mention all this point in the definition of microsoft fabric you may not get that much that much time but make sure you share your experience right if you are very new to fabric and you have not actually worked on fabric then whatever assignment you worked earlier or by yourself try to mention in that try to explore before the interview that why fabric has been chosen by industry leader why it is important how microsoft fabric make it easier to manage all the component of the fabric how the access is granted uh, for the users in microsoft fabric compared to the other uh, database or warehouse also the compute power the uh, how fabric can be expanded to accommodate more user or more load compared to other warehouse where it is sometimes difficult or you know it's not like one click where you can uh, add more computing power if you are having slowness or performance issue it has also monitoring part where you can find which query or which particular uh, transformation is taking more time to you know build the report and all so fabric is one package for all your warehouse need right from the data ingestion to the power bi data analytics so that is why microsoft fabric is preferred and one of the leader in the warehouse business so combining all this point make a microsoft fabric definition and this will going to impress your interviewer and play a very important role in giving you the brownie point so make sure if this question is asked right at the beginning make sure you share your original experience with fabric and try to add more flavor to it like why customer switch to fabric what are the benefits you are getting from fabric and why fabric is implemented so i hope uh, this first question uh, helped you to understand the microsoft fabric now we'll go to the second part where we'll be uh, asking question on the components of the fabric